Okay, let's look at something a little bit harder. So say they asked you, they told you that the first term of the sequence is two and the fifth term is 32. And they told you it was a geometric sequence. They have to tell you that it's a geometric sequence. Um, these formulas here were fine for the, what we were doing before when, when, when you've been given the numbers. But there's a much simpler method to calculate this. Um, so remember that, let's look, let's just fill in the numbers. So we've got a two here and a 32 here. Well, what we, knew, what we know about a geometric sequence is that you're timesing by a ratio. So for example, when it was two, we said two times two was four. Two times two is eight. We can kind of see what the answer is already. But let's say we didn't know because these, these numbers two and 32 could be a bit more difficult. But what we did was we knew that each time we timesing by R times R to get to this one times R to get to, to get to T3 times R to get to T4 and times R to get to T5. So what we did here was we actually, to get, we times R four times. So to get from T2 to T5, we literally just times by R to the four. So we know that T1 times R to the four is equal to 32, uh, sorry, T5, okay. So five minus one is four. So the R is to the power of whatever the difference is. So if they had said T16 and T25, you wouldn't want to write T1, T2, all the way to 25 or even 16 to 25. So a quick way would be what's 25 minus 16? <clears throat> That's nine. So you would know that the, you would just times R to the nine. So you'd get T16 times R to the nine would be equal to T25 and you could just sub in those values. So let's put in the values. T1 was two. Uh, T5 was 32. And all that's left to do is to times by uh, is to divide by two on both sides to cancel. Uh, this becomes 16. R4 equals 16. And then you know that R is equal to 2. And if they wanted the, the um, value of the, the formula for the arithmetic sequence, we would just sub in. So say we had, we know that the formula is Tn equals a r to the n minus one. We've already figured out that um, well, we can see a is two and r is Four, sorry, R is two as well, to the N minus one. And this two, you can break up into two N multiplied by two to the minus one.
Now from our exponent laws we, laws, we know that two to the minus one is the same as one over two to the plus one. Two times a half is one, and so Tn equals two to the power of n. Now in the case where they do where they get T16, where they gave you 16, what you would have to do is you would have to say t to the 16 equals, and they told you t to the 16, whatever the value is, and you put that in for tn, then your a, you didn't know because they, they haven't started at the first term like in this question. So then you would then put in your, uh, your r, which you, you worked out to be two, n minus one, and then you would solve because these would all be numbers as well. And so you would solve for A, so there'd be an extra step in getting to the final equation.